the new Tuna Tower is fresh out the shop. If you ever dreamed, wanted, or even wondered why a Tuna Tower, you gotta watch this episode. I'm gonna break down all the bloody details. Hustle and fish, let's go. I always find the fish, always. Let's go back down memory lane a few years ago while I was on a trip on the hunt for big bluefin tuna out here in SoCal, right behind Sac Clemente Island when it was going off. Got a call on the radio. <coughs> Ralph, we found them. Where you at? I, I was like, I'm in the wrong place. Where you at? Okay, we passed you up a little bit earlier. I want you to head down west to the west end of the island. You'll run right into us. Start heading west. Before you know it, old Hawkeyes, a.k.a. Billy K, sees me. All right, Ralph, we see you. Why don't you, uh, I think it was something like churn about five degrees north. Keep making way. <sighs> Ralph, do you see him now? Right ahead of you on your bow. No. No, I don't see him yet. Okay, just keep coming. Keep making way. A few minutes later, Ralph, do you see him now? No, I don't see him. Okay, keep making keep making way. You're one right into him. Once again, <coughs> Ralph, do you see him? They're right in front of your face. No, I do not see him. Keep in mind, I was in the pilot house. It was choppy, but I sincerely didn't see him. Wasn't until I eventually nearly damn ran them over that we spotted them. Maybe that's a little exaggeration, but damn it, it was, wasn't until they were like, I would assume within like 50 yards. Thank God we got there in time, set the kite out, frozen flyer got smashed, and we came home with a fish. Later that day, we were talking on the phone, me and Billy. And he was like, yo, Ralph, you really couldn't see those fish? And I was like, no, I couldn't see them, bro. I was, didn't see them. What can I say? And he was like, bro, you really, bro, you really need to get a tower. And ever since then, the seed was planted. I'm going to get me a tower. I found out how much the price was to build the dream tower that I wanted for the no plan B. Now, I'm not going to say the price. For one main reason, it doesn't matter. All that matters is, do you want the tower? And if the answer is yes, then all you do is hustle your face off until you get that number. And that's exactly what I did. Talked about it. I let everybody know I'm getting a tower. And if you know my buddies, they were like, hey, Ralph, you get you getting the tower yet? I put the pressure on myself. I told everybody, yo, I'm getting a tower. So every time I spoke to one of my captain buddies or just one of my fishing buddies, hey, when's the tower coming? And it put that extra pressure on me. So I advise anybody who wants to get a tower, start talking about it. But, but, be, but if you're one of those guys who don't execute on what you say, then maybe you should just keep your mouth zipped. What we're going to do here, what I'm going to do here is give you the motivation to get that darn tower by all means necessary. So let's just dive right into all the juicy details on my new tower. 19 brand new rod holders, okay? Two of them being right behind the bucket seats, just in case I gotta do a sneak drive by on some foamers and I could just, three new deck lights. Two of them being fully adjustable so we can aim that light wherever we want. Uh, just in case we're making some bait at night, catching some squids, some frozen flyers, we got light. Two new smaller deck lights with the purple color option for those, for those nights that I'm cruising with the wife and we just want to chill and look cool. At the same time, we got the full option to turn on all the, all the deck lights, a total of four and just light the ocean up and let the fish come to us. The bucket seats, okay? 
key thing about the bucket seats is that we could just tuck in with those gyros and have support left to right and to just find those fish. The center cushion of the bucket seats for when you're standing up, you got some back support while driving. You know, you're always looking for some leverage in that ocean. And that center center cushion of the bucket seats is perfectly aligned with the steering wheel for some back support. Now for the height of the tower. I wanted mine's highest possible that I could actually step into it and not crush my balls, but still be high as possible. But easy access if I ever wanted just to crawl up from the bottom. No big deal. The tower is a total of 13 feet, 1 inches from the floor. The danger zone is 14 feet from what I from what I hear. I already gassed up once and it looks like I'm about 7 inches from your typical gas station. Keep in mind, the bench seat does fold back, okay? For those situations where I need to get somewhere and don't have access to 13 feet, 1 inch or 2 inch, I can fold the seats down. Now let's talk about what's on the dash of the control station. From right to left, we got the Suzuki shifter. We added a new VHF ICOM 506 just to have that extra radio in a worst case scenario. We also linked it with the commander mic in the pilot house so we could easily talk to somebody in the tower or in the pilot house. We also added a new set of trim tabs. Now we have full control from the tower and the pilot house. Steering. Now we got full on control of steering on the tower. Let me tell you what happens. You're on the water, you spot maybe a speck, which is a bird or something. You take your eyes off it for one second to tell the guys, hey, I see something. And it's lost, it's gone forever. Now, I notice a speck and this is what I do. Oh, can't wait. We also got a Simrad Evo 3 9 inch. So we could still do everything like we do in the pilot house. Now we could do it from the tower. We even got a little space, a secret stash spot for the gyros and something cold. Speaking of something cold, we also got two cup holders. I did this more for me and the wife, for those Catalina cruising nights when we're just chilling. I thought it'd be cool to have. I do want to give a sincere thanks to Boats Unlimited and Costa Mesa for turning my dreams into fruition. I have nothing but great things to say about Fishing Boats Unlimited and Costa Mesa. Give them a ring if you're interested and your next Dream Tower, I highly recommend it. I just wanna briefly introduce my man, Jason, at Fishing Boats Unlimited. You might know him, you might not, but you wanna to get to know this guy. This is the guy who said earlier, he said, uh, we just make bitching stuff, bro. <laughs> Thank you so much, bro. Absolutely. No, this is uh, all about making customers' dreams become realities. So it's, uh, I'm third generation in the industry and uh, you know, Customer satisfaction is our number one priority. So glad you're happy with everything. Hustle and fish, it's time. Let's go. I always find the fish. Always.